Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can definitely tell from above, is a compilation of my top five favorite shoes or must-have shoes for the summertime. And similar to my spring one, I'm trying to make this one a little bit more of like a classic overall rounded style as opposed to your top five must-have shoes for summer 2020 because there are quite a few trendy shoes that are flying around right now that I know are cute for the moment, but I don't necessarily know if they'll translate into being classic shoes that you'll want to have in your wardrobe forever, year after year, or even through to like at least even next year. So I tried to keep these as classic as possible so that if you do go out and get any of these, you'll still be able to wear them every year afterwards. And hopefully this will help you to curate a better suited wardrobe throughout the seasons. You're also going to notice that there's a repeat shoe in my summer collection versus my spring one and that's totally okay there's nothing wrong with that you're gonna notice as well when I do my fall one that there's definitely going to be some repeats from fall to winter and then winter to spring because as the seasons kind of like mold together you're definitely gonna have some transitional shoes that flow through like I wouldn't necessarily wear flip-flops in the winter time or boots in the summertime but I would wear boots in like the fall winter spring and I would wear sneakers in like the spring summer fall so you guys will definitely see some bleed over from the different seasons but hopefully this is a concise enough and well-rounded collection of my five must-have summer shoes that will get you through any sort of situation in the summertime so let's just jump right into the shoes okay so the first one that's probably in everybody's mind and is actually quite trendy this summer too surprisingly are flip-flops so I got two different styles here and surprisingly these are trendy this year for some reason. I knew that when I was younger, like the early 2000s, I wore flip-flops all the time. And then after a while, these shoes just ended up becoming staples in my closet for the summertime. I'd wear them out, but they weren't like that cute popular shoe. And I think now with the whole 90s resurgence, everything that was, I guess, trendy in the 90s, but for us like 90s babies we wore a lot of it in the 2000s are becoming trendy again slowly so flip-flops are back in scene thankfully for me i have a nice collection of them so i'm well stocked but i do want to pick up a couple of other colors and i remember going every year to old navy in the summertime and getting a pair of these for like a dollar they were the best things ever in the world these are not from old navy though transparently so this color range is probably not available there but i'm just going to jump right in and show you guys the two flip-flops that i've currently been wearing a ton and why i think they're both like super necessary for the summertime so like i said flip-flops are my number one quintessential summer shoe and i primarily find them super super functional for the summertime because they're so easy to throw on to take off you can like kick them off slide them on in like seconds so if you're entering in and out of your balconies your backyards visiting friends it's super easy to take them on and off there's no hassle involved with them like you would have with running shoes or sneakers where you have to undo the laces or like zip down some zippers that's Sort of thing don't want to deal with that and you guys know how much i love my slides and my meals because yeah, i can just like slip my feet right into them so huge fan of flip-flops i have two pairs here this first one is from tiki's this is part of their rubber i guess kind of like more waterproof collection i also forgot to mention the waterproof ability of flip-flops because if you're hanging up by like the pool camping or like the beach or you're caught in the rain these can get wet and then your feet are going to dry off within minutes so highly functional not only are they comfy but they're going to keep your feet dry even when you're wet so so these are my favorite pair that I wear everywhere. These are my Tiki's ones. They're part of their waterproof collection. I think I got them in this sand color. I find these actually extremely comfortable because the footbed is super, super squishy. Like I don't even know if you guys can tell from your screens like how squishy this footbed is. And I've worn these so much literally since last summer. And I haven't even seen an indent in the bed of these flip-flops, which is great. Like I said, I love old native flip-flops. These are actually from Old Navy, but after one year wearing them, they definitely wear in. As you guys can see, there's a dip there from my foot. And honestly, I usually find myself only able to wear these a season at a time and I have to throw them up at the end of the year, either because my feet have pressed straight through the foam to the bottom. I've actually worn my Old Navy flip-flops once such that there was a hole worn into it because it kept rubbing on the pavement or these straps actually fall out. But honestly, for $1, it's not the biggest issue. I'll wear the hell out of them and I'm done with them for the end of the season and then I get a new pair next one. So for the cost per dollar value, it's quite good. But I do love a better, like, well-rounded pair of flip-flops such as my Tiki's ones because I know these will last me through year after year. This is going to be my second season wearing them. I haven't noticed a single compression point on any of the footbeds so I know it's going to last me a long time. The strap up top doesn't feel loose at all like it's going to kind of like pull out at any moment so I'm really confident about wearing these out everywhere and also these straps have not stretched. Sometimes the rubber in your flip-flops will stretch a little bit as you wear them and they'll get looser and looser as you go throughout the summer but these have not which is great. It keeps my feet snug inside of my 
flip flop without worrying about my feet falling out. So I could not recommend these Tiki's flip flops anymore. I love them to death. And even though it's not like their vegan leather ones or their leather styles, I love these waterproof ones because they literally take me everywhere. I think I just wore these recently to a camping trip where our campsite flooded and I was walking around in the entire campsite for the whole weekend in these because everything was wet and I didn't want to get my sneakers dirty. So love these guys and I highly recommend you guys pick up a pair of flip flops, especially from Tiki's if you want some cute everyday ones. Usually when I go camping or to the beach, I bring my Old Navy ones because I know I can run them into the sand, get them really nice and dirty. These ones are quite stained now. I can get them in like really fun colors for cheap as well. So I also like to have a couple pair of these lying around at home in case I'm doing something that would involve a little bit more like grit and grime. I don't usually wear my nice Tiki's camping, but I was taking photos so I packed them along anyways. And honestly, they didn't even get that dirty. So I'm highly inclined to bring these again if I want to go camping but I like to have a couple of throw around pairs from Old Navy's lying around the house so that I can have them if I need to like do groceries or like run errands or like help out my parents clean up their backyard or the garage and not care about if these are gonna get dirty so pick a pair of these for yourself if you would like to have some extra ones lying around the house my next must-have shoe for the summer are slides very similar to flip-flops you slide your feet into them which is why I primarily love them but they're a little bit more elevated and more for that going out look. If you want a more cleaned up look from flip flops, which just gives off that like very casual vibe, I would definitely pick up a pair of slides. You can get slides from like a whole variety of price ranges. You don't have to go expensive. Obviously these ones are a little bit more expensive. These are my Hermes Oran ones. I also have some other ones from like Sam Edelman, Call It Spring, Aldo, even like Gap. So you can find slides from anywhere under the sun. Another huge favorite of mine are these Ray ones from Revolve. They have a very, very simple kind of band going across the top. These ones are a little bit tighter though and they don't really allow for your feet to kind of get super comfy in them but I like them because they look a little bit dressy and I can throw these on with any of my summer dresses and instantly look cute whereas flip-flops kind of just give you that very like casual vibe. I find that slides usually kind of elevate the look a little bit. If you don't like wearing a heel but you still want to look cute, slides are definitely the way to go. I would recommend if you can get a white pair because white always looks really nice against the tan but white does get super dirty though so keep that in mind before you get them. I would also also highly recommend trying them on in the store and walking around into it. The issue that I find with a lot of slides is that usually the bands at the top either dig into your toes at the top here or the band at the bottom digs into the top of your foot. So you want to make sure your slides are comfy so you're not going to get bruises as you wear them throughout the day. I primarily like to gravitate towards slides that have a leather top as opposed to anything that's like material that's a fabric or a rubber because those usually rub into my skin and gives me like blisters and I'm not the hugest fan of that. So highly recommend checking out leather ones if you are comfortable with that sort of material because you're gonna get a nice more comfortable fit for the summertime. Number three in my top five must have summer shoes are slides slash loafers, mules, whatever you want to call them. You guys saw these in my spring must have shoes and it is also making its way back into my summer must have shoes. On slightly chillier days when I don't want to expose my whole feet and yes that is a thing sometimes it's too cold to wear a flip flops and slides outside, I reach for my loafers. You guys know how much I love these because they're so easy to slide on. I'm going to wear them throughout the summer and spring. It's just I wear these a little bit less in the summertime because they are a little bit more encasing and it keeps my feet a little bit more hotter and moist. I know some people don't like that word, but yeah, your feet get moist when you wear fully encased shoes. But I do love these for days when it's a little bit chillier or if I'm doing errands first thing in the morning, like eight o'clock, it's still kind of cold outside, the sun hasn't completely risen yet, or towards the end of the summer, near like September, mid-September, when it gets a little bit chillier by six, seven o'clock at night and I have to do like groceries, that sort of thing, that's when I whip out my loafers. So these ones are my white ones from Todd's. I don't have two pairs to show you because I haven't really acquired two pairs of loafers just quite yet. I would show you my Geox ones, but those ones are definitely on their way out. That's the reason why I bought these ones. And I primarily only really needed one pair of white ones, so I haven't acquired any other ones, but I would love to add some new ones to my list because we're getting cars soon and these are perfect driving shoes so I might get a couple more colors you know just keep them in the car so that if I'm wearing other shoes I can switch into these and comfortably drive around but huge must have in your summer shoe closet because it's so easy to slip them on and get a little bit of added coverage and to also keep your feet a little bit warmer on the slightly cooler summer days because we know those exist. Moving on to number four in the top five must have summer shoes are kitten heels. So now that quarantine phases have slightly relaxed a little bit, I know everybody's going to patios, sitting down and dining at restaurants, going out on dates, that sort of thing. You want to look cute. And in the summertime, you're doing a lot of walking outside. Well, at least I am. I don't know about you guys, but I like to walk a lot. 
Since quarantine, we have not been taking public transit as much. We've either been walking everywhere or our friends have been driving us. So when it comes to walking, I need to make sure that my feet are in comfortable shoes. And if I want to look cute, then I wear kitten heels like these ones. I don't enjoy high heels when I'm going to be doing a lot of walking because I find that they really hurt my feet. However, I can stand all night in them for five hours in heels if I need to at a glamorous event. Unfortunately, there are no such events happening this summertime, so the extent of my dress up will probably just be a cute little kitten heel like this one, and I highly recommend that you have one or two of these in your arsenal in the summertime. So if you want to dress up a little bit, if you want to hit up the patio and grab drinks with your girls or go on a cute first date, you can dress up without feeling uncomfortable, and that's a priority here. Comfort and fashion at the same time. And that is where a kitten heel comes into play. So like I said, flip-flops are super trendy right now, so you can get away with melding the two of them together and have a kitten heel flip-flop. This silhouette is actually really popular right now. It has the thong straps up top here, also has a square-shaped toe, which is very trendy right now, circa a la 90s. And then you have a kitten heel for comfort here. I just also got in black to make it super easy to blend in with the rest of my closet and wardrobe, so I can wear this anytime I wanted to, but I love these ones. They're not the comfiest, I would say, out of all kitten heels that I own, but I don't usually walk around in anything with a heel all day anyways so I usually try to stick to only wearing stuff like this if I'm out for like half an hour to an hour max or if I'm just hanging out at a friend's place and I want to look cute that's when I bring these heels around the reason why they're not the comfiest is because of the thong at the top here if you guys already do not like thong flip-flops then this is probably not the kitten heel for you because your foot definitely will slide up top here and all the pressure is going to be put onto your foot at this point right here so I would highly recommend you get a different type of kitten heel and have one that has more straps on it you guys know that these are my favorite Zara ones. Super, super cute, white, perfect for the summertime. And they have a ton of straps that keep you in place so that you don't feel uncomfortable when you're wearing them outside. There is a little toe loop here, so it does kind of secure your toe in place so it doesn't slide around in the front. But all the pressure is not directly placed onto the space between your big toe and your index toe. I don't know what you would call that because you have all these extra straps that hold your feet in place. So it's evenly dividing the pressure points across your foot on the shoe without having to like accommodate for I guess pain in your foot and overall the straps are super minimal so it doesn't feel like you have a lot going on it's a very like naked looking kind of shoe very strappy this is also a very popular silhouette this summer super strappy low profile heels and I can definitely see this rotating well into the fall if you have events to go to in the fall time I wear these all the time going to weddings well up until last year because we've had no weddings really this year but I've worn these so many times to special occasions and even on like casual I don't know outfit days or just going to events for work that I can definitely guarantee you guys that these shoes will see through the times and are going to be like timeless when it comes to a shoe in your closet. The very last shoe style I'm going to mention, I was a little bit torn on this because I wanted to mention a specific style, but then I realized I was trying to keep this video as classic and as simple as possible. And obviously right now the dad sneaker is still very trendy. It's less to do with the chunky heel of your sneaker and more to do with the overall athleticness of the shoe design. I know like the New Balance 950 sneakers are really, really trendy right now. The Air Force Ones are also super trendy. Maybe I should bring mine back from when I had them in high school. I can still wear them. I have them at home in Ottawa. I'm definitely going to bring them back and see if I can style them. But then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? These are cute specific styles of sneakers that are trendy. It's not necessarily going to still be trendy and stylish next year. So instead of that, because I do wear a ton of sneakers in the summertime, I actually am going to gear it a little bit more towards an overall vague style of sneakers to kind of show you guys what you will want to add to your closet if you don't currently have sneakers in your rotation for the summertime. My recommendation if you're trying to build out that type of like summer capsule wardrobe when it comes to shoes is to have white sneakers. I know easier said than done because a lot of people gravitate away from white sneakers just because they get dirty so easily. But if you do take the time to take care of your sneakers and to clean them and to not walk in places that are going to attract mud and dirt all over them, you can definitely have really great white sneakers for the entire summer. And looking at my wardrobe, I do have a bunch of different white sneakers. They're not all one style. Some of them are like super athletic looking. Some of them have that chunky dad look. Some of them are like the high top converse lace up. So everything out of the sun at the end of the day I realized was all white. And I see a lot of people with white sneakers all the time too. So I feel like that's fitting. Although I'd love to get myself a pair of the 950s from New Balance. They look really cute and comfy. And it's great that they're trendy right now because you guys know I prioritize comfort over trend. And if I can mix the two together, hurrah! So first up for white sneakers, you will have definitely seen this in my last video as well. But I'm not touching on the dad chunky sneaker aspect specifically, just white sneakers. So if you already had those sneakers from spring, definitely keep them into the summertime Wear them throughout summer and even into fall when it's still warm out before you transition over into boots. White sneakers are great because they literally match with any single outfit that you put on. I've worn these sneakers either with like leggings, jeans, 
like a cute dress and they still look really really cute so this is one version of the white sneaker that i've been wearing a lot of another one that i have are the converse style high tops actually i've never had high tops before when it comes to converse i've always ever purchased the low top versions and i love those ones because they fit with everything in my wardrobe it just gives you that like very effortless casual feel and then this year if you guys watch one of my previous videos what i bought myself for my birthday i spoiled myself a little bit and got myself the dior oblique transparent high tops so very similar style since i already knew that the converse style appealed to myself and i've been wearing it for years that this style would be safe for me i just really liked the oblique transparent aspect of this one and i wanted a different silhouette that was a high top instead of going back out and buying another converse high top this is a different style that you can also get converse shoes but as you notice they're also still white so they're still going to fit with any single type of outfit that you put together i have actually worn this with like bike shorts and a sports bra. I've also worn this with a skirt. I've worn them with like jean shorts. When it comes to white sneakers, they literally match with anything regardless of the silhouette just because white is so like utilitarian. Not utilitarian, that's not the word. White is so functional when it comes to your outfits. And since sneakers are such a casual addition to your wardrobe, you can really wear them with anything, dress something up or dress something down. Whichever way you go, you can't go wrong with sneakers. And like I said, summertime, white sneakers pop out phenomenally against the tan so highly recommend a white sneaker to add to your wardrobe if you don't already have one for the summertime all right so that is it for all of my five sneakers that i would highly recommend you pick up for the summertime or if you're trying to create that sort of like capsule collection wardrobe these are definitely the ones you want to hone in on it's great because so many of these actually fall nicely into fall you guys will see in a couple of months once i do my top five must have fall sneakers as well or just footwears not sneakers top five must have fall shoes that's what i need to be saying and as well for summertime, top five must have summer shoes. I am like rolling over my tongue here today. But I hope you guys enjoyed that roundup. Let me know if there's any specific shoe that I missed out that you think is a huge must have for a summertime that you think I definitely need to get myself a pair of. I think I've rounded it out well pretty much overall and I've covered you for any situation you may encounter in the summertime, whether it's just hanging out with friends, going on a date, going on a cute patio where you wanna dress up, running errands, going camping, going to the beach, to the pool, like anything under the sun, you can wear with these shoes that I've kind of like laid out for you guys. So hopefully you found this video informative. Let me know which pair of shoes you find yourself wearing all the time. I'd love to know and to compare if we are like shoe twins, you know, cause I always find myself reaching for like my slides and my sneakers a little bit more than my kitten heels. So, you know, we might be on the same wavelength right there. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it or you found it helpful and make sure you subscribe. I don't know what the button is. It's here somewhere if you guys want to see more videos from me and you'll get notified every time I post a video. New videos go live every Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!